When my grandmother passed away, she gave something to my father that was very, very special to her. When she was 10 years old, she was made to quit school because she was a girl and she had enough education, but she was a learner. She wanted to learn. She wanted to, to do more. She would go outside at night after everyone had gone to sleep and she would write in this journal by the light of the moon, which is the only free time that she had. So when she passed away, she gave the one remaining journal to my father. He gave it to me and he said, I want you to write my mother's story. It took me all my life for those stories to become a part of me and finally emerge so that I could retell them. If you live in a very small African-American community in 1912, 1922, 1932, 1942, it was about the same. The difficulties were the same and the community closeness was the same. So Stella's story even though it takes place a long time ago, is still happening today. And I think from books of historical fiction, we can learn something that can help us in the present.